Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. Today I'm going to take you guys to work with me. Samba, say hi. No? Okay. This is the reporter fit we got going on today. And it should be a fairly easy day. That's why it's a good opportunity to be filming while I'm working. Because hectic days, it's just way too much going on. But I have things planned out today, so I think it should be good. And yeah, let's get it going. Right, and we are out the door. Gotta go change cars now. Get in my work car and then head over to the first story of the day. So I'm kind of running late, like always. I don't know why. I'm the way I am, but it is what it is. I think I usually run more late to things when they're like really early. If it's like before 10.30, chances are I'm going to be a little bit late because it's just the way it is. I don't know why. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, but I just got in my work car. Where's my caffeine? Because I need caffeine. I did not get the chance to go to the gym today, so I haven't been able to caffeinate. So now I'm caffeinating and I'm trying to back up and I'm trying not to have the camera fall. A lot going on. Mm. So, first thing I have today, I'm going to City Hall, oops, seatbelts, for a senator visit that is going on. And then I have a press conference at the theme park for something else going on. And then I'm pre-shooting a story for tomorrow. So it sounds nice and simple, but don't be fooled. It's gonna be a busy day. I'm trying to caffeinate as much as I can before I get there. Mm. Thank you. On 95.7 It's late. almost at my destination and then I get a text from the press secretaries of the senator or whatever and they're like we're running 10 to 15 minutes behind thank goodness turns out I'm gonna be late after all I'm right on time you know when the universe just works on your side it's just beautiful it is beautiful so thank you so much for that hospitality Senator John Ossoff, Senator Ossoff. Thank you yeah. so much for coming. It's I nice course. to meet you. Thank you, Let you me know too. if you have any questions or if you I need will. those numbers again, I can email them. Over. Perfect. I'll let you know if anything. Thank okay, you. thanks. Senator Ossoff. Sen Senator Ossoff. Sen Sen what do I can say that word? Senator. Senator Ossoff. Sen Senator. Senator. Senator Ossoff. Three, two, one. Senator Ossoff also announced millions of dollars worth of funding for the school districts in the area and for some universities including Valdosta State and Albany State. Alright, I think that's good. Two hours later. Alright, so I just left and I'm running a little bit behind schedule. That senator visit took longer than expected. So now I am leaving and I'm making my way to Wild Adventures, which is a little theme park here. Um, and I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm heading this way. Well, I took the wrong turn. Of course I did. Still trying to caffeinate. Uh, I'm like 20 minutes away from that one. We got this. One hour later. Alright, so I finished my last shoot of the day. Well, not really, because now I have to go. I'm hungry. I have to go pre-shoot a story for tomorrow. Because the people couldn't do it tomorrow, so I gotta do it today. And I might get there early, so then I'll start working on my stories in the car from the parking lot. But first, I want to get to the destination. Hmm. 
the way these boards are really good. From Cliff. Turn left Cliff, Road. Hmm. Funny story. I found out about these bars. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm a choke. <laughs> So I was on a flight, I think it was from Atlanta to Miami, I was going home, and it was a Delta flight I believe, and they were giving these bars like in the little bags, it was so good when I tried it, I was like I think I found my new favorite bar, because I get like really used to them since I eat them so much, when like when I try a protein one or like whichever little bar snack that I try. After eating that for a while, like I just get bored of it and it's just not appetizing anymore. But these, these are my new favorite. It's really good. I tried the chocolate fudge one. Mm, not so good. Not that it wasn't that it was bad, but it was just too much chocolate, you know. But these, the chocolate chip one, bomb. Key tip: as a reporter, always have a snack with you. Because you never know when you'll be able to eat lunch. So if you're hungry, gotta have a snack. Alright, welcome to my office where the Wi-Fi is A1 location even better. The beautiful scenery of trees and cars in this parking lot. And now it is time to start getting some work done before I have the other shoot. So I gotta get make the most of my time. Another key thing of being a reporter, make use of your time very wisely. So whenever you have a break, work on your story. So that's what I'm about to do and I can't find what I'm looking for because I have so many pockets in this purse, which let me show you guys, it's a hot mess. But I do plan to clean it up a little bit. Let me show you. This is the purse I got right here. I have all my gear, all my stuff, my camera bag over there because I use my own camera. Um, can't find what I'm looking for. Bingo, I found what I was looking for. So I'm gonna start transferring my videos to my computer. And I do work with two different computers. Here's where I edit, that one's from the station. So there I write my script. And I am going to start putting my script together. No Siri, I do not want to talk to you. Um, let me see if I can log on to this good thing right here. And of course, caffeinate. Alright. It is 12.17, interviews at 1. We are good with time. We have some time to be productive. So let's get this rolling. I just finished shooting my story for tomorrow. Had to pre-shoot it. It's it's so cute. It's a really cute story. So I'm excited to put that together for tomorrow. Now it's time to go home and put all these stories together well my first two stories together and then gotta edit and move on with my day still got a lot of things going on and i am so hungry so luckily i have some leftover food at home so i'm gonna grab that and yeah all right so now i am back at my second office which is my countertop in the kitchen and zimba's over there trying to get some food hey down now set everything up boom 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 And I'm heating up some lunch right now because I am starving. I don't always have lunch, but sometimes I have to because I'm very hungry. And today is that day. Two hours later. 
All right, I am fixed up, ready to go to my live shots. Everything has been sent in. And now, just trying to get out of that parking space. Um, so yeah. Continue on West Street for half a mile. Everything has been sent in, done, ready for the shows. Just gotta go to the location for my live shot, which is 20 minutes of wean. It was like one of my favorite parts of the job going live you just get like an adrenaline rush that is just like very nice so yeah i really need to see what the gps is sending me of course i go the wrong way like always able to multitask today I was able to put um, I had enough time to put my stories on the website so now when I get home I don't have to do that so that's another thing us MMJs have to do besides you know shooting interviewing putting everything together writing and editing and doing live shots we also have to take care of our digital presence so uh, yeah I did that already so basically when I come back I don't have to do nothing left for like from today's stories all i need to do is plan for tomorrow and do it all over again Woohoo! but yeah on my way right now all right i got to the destination here is my gear two little sticks Live in Valdosta, coming up at 5.30, find out what Wild Adventures just announced. And I'll give you a hint, there is some pumpkins involved. Stay with us. Jim, Wild Adventures just announced a new event coming to South Georgia this year. And as the sign says, it's called the Great Pumpkin Illuminates, and it will be lighting up the night sky this fall. And just like that, ladies and gents, another day done. Ooh, it's hot. It is so hot, like I wish you guys can experience how hot, hot it is right now. I'm standing out there for such a long time. I was out there for like 20, 25 minutes. Um, yeah, so that was good. Now I think I have to go put some gas because I'm about to stay stranded out here. So yeah, and then switch cars and then go home and do it all over again all right guys i just got home for good this time to have to head out again little zimbos right there excuse the mess very messy here right now <sighs> are you ready to get out of your cage puppy huh and always before I wrap up with my day, I go back and I look at my live hits and my performance, whatever, on the show to see how I did Best and I what I can fix or not do or do better next time. And that's a good way to learn. Always, you know, watching yourself after and seeing how things came out and seeing how you can get better. And that's how you're going to grow and learn as a reporter. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video coming along with me for a day in the life um if you guys have any questions about the job want to see more of these videos um, let me know let me know leave it down below what else do you guys want to see i'm gonna go get him out he's like crying yeah that's it say bye zimba